Hey Fish Heads, I'm Jason Halker and I am super excited because fall is in the air. That can only mean one thing, trout stocking season is upon us. Each year we field hundreds of questions from the public about our stock trout program. So we decided to film a series of three videos talking a little bit about our program, taking the angler from egg all the way up to an adult trout, as well as debunking some myths along the way. So let's get started. Our first trip is down to Paint Bank, Virginia. I'm Brian Beers, the manager at the Paint Bank State Fish Hatchery. Uh, we're really located in Paint Bank, Virginia, and uh, we're part of the DJIF system of hatcheries. I'm a Class A cold water facility, and uh, I raise brook, brown, and rainbow trout for stocking in the state of Virginia. Uh, all species here uh, can be done essentially triploid, standard spawning, growth from zero to four years of age. Most of the three and four year old fish are kept for brood stock. And essentially our role beyond our stocking is to provide a, a lot of eggs and fingerlings and advanced fingerlings for transfers to our other facilities such as Montebello and Corsi Springs Hatchery. We do approximately 150,000 pounds of trout each year and that means taking near 6 million eggs, hatching out 3 million eggs and basically having at least 800,000 fingerling fry, advanced fingerling style fish are produced here each year. The average size stock in fish here is about 11 inches and that takes approximately uh, 18 months to grow out. Today we've been spawning brook trout at the hatchery. Overall we separate our brook trout, our males, into a separate lot and our females in a separate lot. Each week we knock out the fish with anesthesia in the water and check for ripe pens. Ripe pens mean the fish that will give us eggs and are ready to be fertilized. That group of eggs is taken and spawned and then they're brought up to the hatchery building to water harden. From there they'll set an hour to two before they go into incubator trays. They'll sit in the incubator trays with flowing water over them for approximately 25 to 30 days before we get what we call an eyed egg. That's an egg that's developed and definitely has an embryo in it. After that process we'll pick the eggs and they hatch in about 42 days. It takes approximately 14 days for them to absorb their yolk sac. After that, they'll begin swimming up is the term we use, but moving around the water column, being active, looking for feed. At that process, we'll feed them on a very small feed, almost like flour. That is a very high protein, low fat diet, up to seven times a day. They'll stay in the hatchery building, getting progressively larger feed as they grow out. And at a size around two inches to three inches in the two to four month period, depending on the how quickly they need, I need space, they will be transferred out to other facilities such as our rearing stations at Corsi Springs, potentially Montebello, or to my own outside raceways and uh, it be thus begins this term we call grow out essentially. Wow, I am always amazed at how much hard work and dedication goes into raising these fingerling trout. Stay tuned for the next episode coming out later this fall. Thanks for watching and remember to go outdoors Virginia.